I think you'll be excited at what you find in terms of rural nursing. Great to mix travel and school. Very much multi-talented, multi-skilled. Part of a group and you're not just a number. We do try to make it a fun environment. It's a variety of clinical areas that they're able to experience. What is it that you bring to that interview that's unique and different? The rural experience would be it. The ongoing shortage of nurses and other healthcare professionals is a challenge for urban centres across Canada, but even a larger one in rural areas. As reported by the Canadian Institute for Health Information in 2006, only 3% of Ontario's RNs actually worked in rural Ontario, leaving a huge demand for nurses in rural communities. Rural nurses need broad skill sets and knowledge from a variety of specializations. It is a unique challenge that is both valuable professionally and personally. If you haven't thought of a rural placement yet, think again. Students who've had the rural experience actually have benefited by the fact that they've being able to go throughout the organization where they're not um, limited to one section of uh, the agency or the hospital. Within an hour they could have been caring for a child as well as within that hour caring for an elderly patient as well. So it's that full sort of broad spectrum that they're able to really see and engage in. We try and offer them a variety of experiences. And because we're a small enough hospital, we tend to know the different departments. So if there's something interesting going on in another department or if they've got a day where they want to go to the operating room or they want to spend a, a couple of hours in dialysis, we can make use of those opportunities and call down and say, you know, can we send the student for the day? But you also get a chance to go to the outpatient to the ACT team, their, their community treatment team. Uh, you can go to the crisis intervention team. Um, you can spend a day in seniors mental health if, if uh, that works into the schedule. So, you know, again, because we know each other, we can say that we can share you, give you another exposure to another aspect of that part of nursing that you may never see in a big city. You know, they would go on transports with the patient in the ambulance and maybe come here to Owen Sound for the patient to have MRI. Or they maybe would accompany the patient uh, to St. Mary's for cardiac, uh, in Kitchener for cardiac catheterization. You're going to get a lot more hands-on. You're not competing um, in the larger cities where all of the students are. You, if you come out to a smaller community hospital, you'll, we'll try to get you the different things to experience so that you get your hands-on, for sure. Um, and the units have always been really good at, even if you are set up with a preceptor, a fellow nurse, if they have a skill, will, you know, say, do you want your student to do this? And so they get that above and beyond. So there's always things added that we can find for them to try as well. If they knew there was something he hadn't seen, they'd be calling him in and saying, you haven't seen this, come on in, you're going to really enjoy this. He said everybody knew who he was. They knew he was a student, they knew he was there consolidating, they wanted to make it a really good experience for him. And that's what I hear over and over again from the students, is that our staff um, are very uh, open about sharing their experiences and making sure they have the best experience possible. But it's not always just about work. The lifestyle of the community, as well as cultural and recreational opportunities, are just as important as the practice-related factors. The personal benefit that I witnessed was that this, the student who was placed in this rural setting was absolutely incorporated into the community. He was always going to either a potluck or some form of community dinner. I'm going to say, I don't want to say every night, but certainly within the weekly part of it, he was just welcomed in and he went you know, from snowmobiling to snowshoeing to ice fishing. All those really, I want to say, cool things that you just wouldn't have the opportunity to do here. Usually they'll find that preceptors and the rest of the staff here will sort of absorb them into the activities that they're participating in. You know, just here in Stratford we have a couple of golf courses, there's a tennis club, there's a badminton club. I mean, if you do want to get into theatre, there's some amateur theatre groups that they have a lot of fun. So there is that, um, you know, variety of things that you could participate in. You know, there are opportunities that if um, you can make, you know, your life isn't just work. Rural nursing is a generalist practice approach in nature and requires personal flexibility and a broad knowledge base, which can be quite challenging and rewarding. It may not be for everyone, so there are things to consider. You need to be an individual who, who has some self-assurance and um, or is looking for a challenge. Leave all your bias behind. I think that people have the understanding that we're just like a walking clinic, but we do an awful lot more besides that. Um, come with an open mind, um, ready to soak in the experience. 
You want to become part of a really unique team. You want to experience sort of rural settings and communities. I would say absolutely do it. Don't be afraid to speak up or, oh, you're just the student because you're not just the student. You're part of the team here and we do appreciate you coming. For more information about rural nursing placements, please visit ryerson.ca slash CPO or email CPO at ryerson.ca.